Welcome in to our bonus content to our Dating at Her Age episode, Stocked. I'm Caitlin Johnston. In this bonus episode, we'll explore this question. Can your phone alert you if you are being tracked by an air tag that someone else has placed inside your car? If you listen to our episode, Stocked, you heard two members of the Salt Lake City Police Department talk about one way someone can track your moves by hiding an air tag in your car. First, I want to give you context to the conversations you're about to hear in this bonus episode. As you probably know, Debbie and I don't just host this podcast, but I am the lead producer and Deb co-hosts the Dave and Dujanovic show on KSL News Radio in Salt Lake City, which airs on weekday mornings. The question came up during one of our shows about air tags and if there's a way to know if someone has placed an air tag inside your car without your permission. Now for the reason it came up. There is a murder investigation in Utah. Police say they have evidence that a man who was shot to death was being tracked by an air tag that was placed inside his vehicle. The police department accused his wife and some of her family members of tracking his location as he drove to the home where he was killed. We wanted to know more about air tags and tracking. First, you'll hear Debbie's discussion with Earl Foote. He's a tech expert in Utah and CEO of a company called Nexus IT. Then, you'll hear from KSL News Radio listeners who called the Dave and Dujanovic show to explain how they got notifications to their phones about air tags in the area. Let's get into it. Dave and Dujanovic, your morning companions for talk, analysis, and key perspectives on Utah's biggest stories on KSL News Radio. Police say uh, during their murder investigation of a man who was shot to death in American Fork earlier this year, uh, they uncovered, um, once they began searching the victim's car, an air tag. Uh, that they believe was used uh, by his uh, in-laws and also his wife to track his moves, not only in Utah, um, but also in California. And it had gone on uh, for a couple of weeks, according to what police have alleged, um, and that he was, in fact, lured to the home. That's the word police use, lured to the home. And... uh, Now, three people in custody, uh, all family members in connection with this murder. But Dave, uh, as we talk about not only the case, we're also talking about this issue of tracking using something as small as an air tag. Yes, an air tag that many of us have. I have half a dozen in my family. And they said that this air tag, police say this air tag was placed in a location that Detectives say it would have been difficult to find if you were not looking for it. Uh, So it it does appear or seem to the detective's point of view that this had been hidden in the vehicle for the express purpose of tracking. Yeah, I'm trying to look at this um, actual statement more more clearly. Um, And I believe it was found almost like in a box of sorts amongst receipts um, and other um, items. And like you said, it would have been really difficult to spot it because these air tags are about the size of a quarter. So just before the show, I jumped on the phone with um, the CEO of a tech company called Nexus IT. His name is Earl Foote. He's been on the show from time to time when we get into these areas of tech issues to help us sort through uh, what an air tag is capable of, how it works. And then also, you got to stay tuned because toward the end of my discussion with him, Dave, he talks about how we can, there is a way to detect if there's an air tag in our own cars that we don't know is there and may have been placed there by somebody else. You know, the, the air tags, um, certainly their their intended purpose is not to be malicious, right? they um they were created by Apple, and there, there's other similar devices by other manufacturers that are created uh, to help people track their possessions, particularly, you know, important or expensive possessions. And, and a lot of people do um, use them to um, to know where their car's at. Um, for example, if you've got a, a teenager, you know, that's uh, beginning to drive and you want to make sure they're safe, right, you might... Uh, Put an air tag, um, you know, in the in the car if you don't have GPS location on the car or something like that. You know, people use them for a myriad of different reasons, but uh, certainly they've uh, they they've prompted the use, and not just air tags, but even you know phones and other mobile devices have prompted the the use of 
people who have other purposes, right, um, that uh, sometimes are not necessarily um, well-intentioned, right, and, uh, you know, they, they use them to track people um, and uh, at times stalk people. Um, it can be pretty, uh, pretty creepy and pretty scary. So according to this, uh, the police say they found an air tag in a cloth storage drawer, which was resting on the passenger side of the front floorboard of the victim's truck. And it was found in the bottom of the drawer, which was filled by with random debris, uh, like paper and receipts, magazines, snacks, um, and base and drinks. And based on the location of the air tag, detectives observed it would have been difficult to find if you were not looking for it. So these def- these little air tags are really small, correct? Yeah, they're about the size of a quarter. Um, so they're not, uh, you know, they're they're not very big. Um, there's another manufacturer called Tile, <clears throat> also that makes similar, um, you know, GPS Bluetooth tracking devices. And um, yeah, they're they're all about the size of a quarter. Um, and and if you're not looking for them, um, or you're not aware that you know uh, one is been placed, you know, uh, in a possession of yours, they can certainly be hard to find. Now, somebody who's tracking that air tag has some sort of an app on their end to be able to track it. That's correct. Yes. So there is an application. Um, that you you uh, load on a mobile device on a phone, and you know with uh, your your phone you're able to see the location of where that uh, that tag is, that tracking device, um, and um, you can generally see it you know anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. You know, uh, I've known, for example, again parents of teenagers who have gone on vacation, for example, and they leave um, you know something like an air tag in their in their family car that the teenager is going to be using, you know, while grandma watches them and they're on vacation. But, you know, they might be in in China and looking at, you know, uh, where the kid is at on a random Thursday night in Utah, right, um, to make sure they're safe. And so, um, yeah, the, you, you, can, you can see uh, the location of that device um, on your phone from pretty much anywhere. And does it... I don't have one of these. Is it? And, and maybe you know, maybe you don't know. Does it actually notify the person with the app on their phone when the when the vehicle or the object, whatever the air tag is, is in, begins to move? Um, not to my knowledge. Uh, honestly, it's been a bit since I've toyed with one of these. You know, Debbie. So, yeah. Um, uh, it you know potentially there's a setting where you can be notified of movement. But generally speaking, if I'm not um, mistaken, it's just a static, you you know, you open the app and check in on location when you want to. And on, on the flip side of that, um, Earl, does the person who has an air tag on their car somehow get notified to their own cell phone that there's something in the area or can they get notified that might be tracking them? Does their cell phone send them an alert? Like if I get in my car and there's an air tag in the trunk, I'm not aware of, and I've got my, my iPhone, you know, on the, on the dash right there. And would I get a notification like, Hey, there's an air tag in the area? No, you won't. Um, That is, uh, yeah, the, the difficult thing of the situation now, um, if you do suspect anything, you know, the, the most, um, the, the easiest thing that you can do is to open the Bluetooth settings on your phone and scan for Bluetooth devices, which will look for, you know, any Bluetooth device that's uh, within range, which range of Bluetooth is not very far. You know, it's, it's um, 20 or 30 feet, um, depending upon the materials of, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, wherever you're located at, right? Um, construction materials or, you know, vehicle, uh, the steel and all that kind of stuff. So um, you you open up that Bluetooth, you know, settings, you scan, you see if there's something uh, obscure or odd that you don't expect. You know, uh, again, if, you're, if you suspect that somebody might be tracking you, um, it's best to maybe, uh, if you suspect, for example, in your car, um, drive to a random parking lot that, you know, has plenty of space around it where you wouldn't pick up any other Bluetooth device 
scan and see if you find a Bluetooth device. And if so, then it's likely that, you know, something is in the car and you, you, you're, you're going to have to look for it and try to find it in the car, right? Um, but no, unfortunately, there is no there is no notification that would tell you uh, if a, an AirTag or similar tracking device has been uh, planted in your vehicle or anywhere else. Let me just give you an idea of how powerful the AirTag is. I, I told you about my son. Jumped on a plane. He's flying to, to Georgia this morning. He has one in his uh, stowaway lug- luggage, so the one he checks. It registered as he was flying over Denver, Colorado. I just saw the update. So it has it is extremely powerful. I had no he is thirty thousand feet up in the air and somehow it sent a message that tells me where he's at. So what you're saying is it can track yeah. a lot of places. It's, it's extremely powerful. I don't think many of us expected or knew how powerful the air tag is. Well, I thought my the biggest takeaway for me in that interview when I was talking to Earl was look, if you're concerned about this for whatever reason um, your phone isn't going to automatically alert you that somebody has planted a air tag, small air tag in the you know under the tire in your trunk. But what you can do is drive to an area where there's I vision nothing else around, because you know this can be kind of like you don't want to pick up somebody else's you know right. And you open up your phone to f- find out if your phone is trying to connect to another Bluetooth device that you don't recognize. Thanks, Earl Foot. Great information. We were we are going to post this um, online, of course, podcast this. So if you miss this conversation, we will podcast this immediately after our show. And if you are concerned or somebody else is concerned about you know an air tag and it's secret you know it secretly be planted on something that you own or that you drive, make sure you give it a listen and give it a share. We're going to keep talking about this air tag and tracking. We've been reporting on it this morning because, well, the American Fork Police Department uh, just called the show moments ago to talk about this case. Uh, it's a murder case that they've been investigating uh, where family members of a, a man have been arrested. Um, and as part of the allegation, they say they believe uh, an air tag and they have evidence they say shows an air tag had been tracking this man's moves in his vehicle through California and into Utah, and he was killed um, w- when he entered a home in American Fork. And they've alleged that he was lured here, and the way that he was being tracked gave family members uh, notification that he was uh, getting close to the house. Now, I had heard that if there is an air tag in your vehicle, that it will notify other people uh, that, hey, there's an air tag that is traveling with mm-hmm. you uh, that is not yours. I've heard that before, though I've never experienced it. You've never had an alert that uh, somebody else's air tag is in your car? No. Like if your wife gets in and there's one in her purse. Right. You don't get it. I, so you have an air tag on what, your wallet? Where do you have an air tag? Yeah. Oh, Both on your keys. in my wallet and okay. my keys. And I'm looking at my phone right now. I just went to my Bluetooth, and that's what we've been told by a tech expert. It's like, look at your Bluetooth on your phone because you're not going to get a notification that some sort of you know hidden air tag has been put in the trunk of your car. It's not going to notify you, alert you. I'm looking right now on my Bluetooth um, on my phone, Dave, and I'm not seeing... That your air tag, can you look through that real quick? There's a long list of, of things that my Bluetooth is trying to hit in this building here yeah, at KSL. Yeah, it's trying to get to Maria's MacBook Air. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, there's lots of stuff out there. But is Nothing, it, it's not no. hitting your Bluetooth, but not your Bluetooth is activated. Yeah, Weird. yeah. I've got, okay. I've got two of them uh, on, my, on my person right now. So we wanted to know, uh, have you ever experienced this? Is, is it just a rumor out there that your phone will alert you if there is an air tag in your presence that you're unaware of. Hmm. Paul decided to call in, texted us, and Paul, you say you've, hey, you've had some experience with this. Yes. Um, I've got a daughter and a wife who both have carried air tags. Um, my experience is it only happens when you're traveling. So if you've been driving for, for a certain amount of time and you stop, my phone's a Samsung, and it'll notify me that there's been an air tag uh, traveling with me. Oh, so, okay. Now, do you does it just notify you automatically, or do you have to dig around in the depths of your phone to figure it out? 
automatically. It just showed up as one of my notifications. And I'm I, I'm a Samsung holder. My wife's a Samsung or Android, I guess you could say. My daughter's an iPhone, and I don't know that hers did it. So it might be a, a phone brand type of thing. Not sure. Yeah, I, 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 and I don't know, um, just speaking of the case um, out of American Fork, we d- I don't know what type of phone this um, individual was. I guess it would have to be an iPhone, right? Because, uh, or is the AirTag, the AirTag is attached, at least sending signals to an iPhone. But we don't know for sure what type of phone brand the murder victim had. Just right, you're, I'm looking at you like maybe it's you a good know, question. Be, yeah, because what's there's... interesting uh, about AirTags is, for example, I'm looking right now uh, at my son. So we put a an AirTag in his luggage, and he's traveling. So he he's off in uh, Georgia right now, and it's it's tracking him. We're able to see his luggage, luggage and where he's at right now, but he doesn't have an uh, iPhone with him. Yeah, he. He doesn't have an. He left his iPhone uh, at home. He's serving a mission down in Georgia, so he has a, a different phone. But what an AirTag will do is it will tap into other iPhone users, and it goes into uh, essentially this big network where you can where you can track. Stuff. I want to talk to Abby. She's calling the show right now, Dave. And then our producer, as I'm talking to. Abby, our producer, Caitlin, put in um, the Apple website's information on air tags and tracking. And because you're the techie one in the group here, can I vote you onto the island to review that real quick? Because it does look like there's a way, but you have to go into your privacy and your security settings. But Abby, hi, you live in Mill Creek. Thanks for calling the show. Uh, This has been a bit of a mystery to Dave and I today. So what do you know about air tags and tracking? So I don't actually have an AirTag, um, so I've never paid attention to the settings on my phone, but I was going for a walk one day with a neighbor who had an AirTag on her dog's collar. We walked probably three or four miles together, and it was around the time that I was getting home that I got a notification on my phone saying that there's an AirTag that's been moving with me. I see, but it took a while because a three or four mile walk, I'm thinking I walk kind of slow. That's about an hour. Yeah. You know, we were out for a while and we had kind of been walking laps in our neighborhood. So we were walking the same path over and over again. And it was about after probably an hour that I got a notification saying that there was an air tag moving with me. And Abby, did you know that your neighbor's dog's collar had an air tag on it? Yes, it had come up in our conversation. So when I saw that, it triggered like, oh, it must have been the dog. And I'm sorry to keep uh, keep asking you this question. Did it tell you, you know, Fido's AirTag uh, has been tracking you or anything like that? Or was it just like, hey, there's an AirTag that's been around your phone? It was more vague, okay. just that there's an AirTag. And I could see, I think if I clicked on it, I could see different locations that it had tracked us at. Okay. Thanks so much. Appreciate the insight and the phone call. You know, I've been sitting next to Dave for, I don't know, 40 years. And he's had an air tag because he loses his keys. I'm glad you have an air tag. Everybody loses their keys. Uh, on his keys, they're sitting right I've there. I've made it a profession. Losing yeah. my keys, losing my wallet. <laughs> Apple I'm, loves I'm an Dave. Olympian. Apple loves Dave. And, and, at any rate, I don't get notified. Uh, that there's an air tag in my presence. You and I just went through my Bluetooth. It doesn't seem like it's trying to connect to an air tag uh, in my area at all. And it's right there. It's a, a foot away from my phone. I'll put it even closer. But uh, Caitlin, our producer, put in um, some information from the Apple where, uh, website about air tags and tracking. To, and what did you learn, Dave? There's a couple of things that they, they mention. Uh, if it's an air tag, or your AirPods, any sort of Find My. Find My is kind of the tracking software that, okay. that's used. Uh, network accessory, anything that's compatible, mm. whether it's Bluetooth. If it's separated from its owner and then it's seen moving with you over time, you'll be it'll actually notify you. Um, so that seems to track with a couple of our callers that when you're when you're separated or you're together and you move together for a, a time, then there is a possibility that that it will alert you. But there are several settings 
that you need to have on to receive alerts. Oh. And this is the key. So to receive these alerts, you got to turn your location services on. You've got to turn your my find my iPhone on. Oh. You've got to turn uh, the significant locations on to be notified when you arrive at a significant lo- location. So your home. So you'll say turn that on. Uh, make sure your Bluetooth is on. Allow notifications. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of these things you got to check off, and, and not often do we go through and make sure. Oh, is this on? Is that on? Is this on? Yeah. So that makes sense as to maybe why I don't have all of these uh, settings turned on. Uh, my, I'm not getting act. You know, a notification that your AirTag is right next to to my phone. Uh, can we get one more call in yeah. real quick? Let's get to another call. Hi, Marshall. Hi. Hey, what do you know about this? So I ha- I don't know if it's dependent on the on the version of iPhone. I have an iPhone 12 mini as my main phone and then an iPhone 14 plus as my work phone. But no matter what, when I'm carrying both phones on my person around my friends who have different generations of AirPods, AirTags, and any Apple products like that i always always get notifications pop up as soon as i'm in contact with them that Mm. airpods are near you or air tags are near you owner can see the location and so i don't know if it's dependent on like you were talking about settings or whatever but i get those notifications as the instant that i'm even within like 10 feet of my friends whenever i'm hanging out or whatever so marshall it sounds like, like you have every game. setting on <laughs> yeah, like you just said yes to every setting like every notification yeah. every location well, service. look i mean dave you just gave the recipe and it's a little of that and it's a little of this and then a teaspoon of that and i you know i'm gonna take what caitlin has put in our our our, our, our show chat here and when we get off the air, I'm going to go over to my desk and I'm going to go through my settings and figure out maybe I just don't have the recipe just right. Maybe I have something turned off in there, which I probably do. I'm thinking I probably have my locations off or my find my off or whatever. And that's why I'm not getting your alerts. One little nugget that that I thought was very interesting is an air tag. Uh, if it isn't with its owner for a period of time and then it is physically moved, it will emit a sound. It'll start mm-hmm. beeping at you. So uh, it, if it's somewhere else, you're like, oh, hey, here's my keys. And you pick up your keys and they start beeping at you. It's because that is that is one of the, the settings is if you've been away from it for a while, you pick it up, it starts chirping at you. 